Hello everybody, this is JJ Free Time here. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can put one of these into one of these. Now what is one of these, you may ask? This is one of those Detail automatic dispenser things that you can use in your bathroom. They're kind of discontinued in a way because certain shops don't sell them anymore as a essential item. But uh, yeah, the way they work is very simple. Um, you put your hand under it, you know, it dispenses. So I've already got one in my kitchen, but I thought, for example, I'll just show you this one that's empty. Um, and the great thing is you can refill these when they are low. Um, but the one disadvantage of them getting low is the price and how long they last. Even though they're good to replace with the bottles, they're not so eco-friendly on the planet if you believe in that shit, which I don't, by the way. But for example, if you do, this will probably upset you and your little religion. Anyway, <clears throat> also the factor of, uh, you know, this stuff runs out quite fast. Um, one bottle of this with two people in the house only lasts for two weeks and then that's it. You've got to refill the damn thing. So in this tutorial today, I'm going to show you a cheap and effective way to refill it. Now, in the shops, these are like three quid. And in Poundland, this is one pound. In Tesco's, this is 70-something pence. And in Poundland and many other shops, this is up to near a pound. And this is 70 pence. So you can tell that Dettol is trying to rip you off here. And uh, not forgetting this one right here where you can refill two of these for the same price of a pound. And not forgetting, you know, the same one there, which is a horrible coconut one, which I'm not looking forward to filling up. So in this tutorial today, what you need is your Dettol one touch, whatever, none touch, whatever. Uh some soap of your choice and a drill with a drill piece of a 25 millimeter drill part on it i'll put a link below to this below also what you need is some 25 mil lids that you can find online on ebay which i'll also put a link below to so let's get these out of the way and uh show you how to do it right the way you do it is very simple. Take, actually we're not going to take the bottle out, we'll leave the bottle in for this demonstration just to show you can do it that way. Then what you need to do is pop in your 25mm head like this, put it on slow speed because you don't want to cut yourself and then what you need to do is angle the drill in the middle of the lid on the top. Now before we get going, some people have tried to screw this lid off and it's very difficult. Uh, people have tried hot water and it didn't work for me in a way. So, you know, I tried to unscrew it and all that. It didn't work. And, you know, the plastic things. Uh, God, what a nightmare. Just do this technique. It's a little easier. Anyway, what you do is get your drill. Get your drill head of the 25mm. Put it right in the middle there and start drilling. Now keep an eye on the ball when you're doing this. And I speed it up a bit. And there we go. Simple as that. Okay, so now we've ripped the hole in. It's recommended to probably file some of this down a little bit. If you've got a file, but I've not got the time or the place or the patience to do that. Anyway, we need to rip this bit off. Uh, use part of the drill that might work. There we are. This one's going in the bathroom, this one, by the way, if you're wondering. And there you go, we've ripped a hole in the top. Now what you need is a 25mm grommet that you can find in the description below. 
And also display a link to the guy that I got this information from as well, because it's only fair. Now the idea of this is, it means that you've not tampered with the inside unit. And you have filled it a little easier than normal. This will get stiff to begin with, giggity. But that's only because the hole has just been drilled and it's, you know, getting to the right bit. Anyway, <clears throat> pop it in there. And there we are. Looks like a weird hat now, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, you take this off and you give it a good rinse. And while you're doing that, take these stickers off if you want them to look nice, um, which is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take this label off. You don't have to do this. This is just what I want to do. And it's got a horrible sticky reju on the back. Reju, whatever. And we also have the front one to take off and uh, stuff like that. Yep, taking this off. There we are. One bottle kind of ready. I mean, you can even do it like this if you wanted to, but I don't wish to. I want to get rid of that sticky residue on the back. So I'm going to get myself a very weird thing now that you wouldn't expect to take things off. And that is WD-40. So, you know, <laughs> there's that. Now, there is a reason why you use WD-40 to take off the sticky residue, because it has oil in it, and oil helps the uh, process. I'm going to get the mankiest cloth, because I don't want to use any of the good ones. And, uh, yeah, this is expensive stuff, by the way. I don't know why they're so expensive. Anyway, spray it and start wiping. And already that residue's come off. And just keep wiping till it's all gone, basically, because the oil basically goes right into it. And you will smell of WD-40 to begin with, but you know what? Who cares? So yeah, you start wiping it off like that. As you can see, look, the little lid thing is in there just to show that I have drilled it. Anyway, I'm gonna wipe this for a while. Give it a bit of a rinse, as per usual. Get the uh, other part out. And uh, hey presto, you've uh, got a refill. So I'll see you in a minute. One hour later. So I've rinsed it out. Now obviously the best thing to do is let this thing dry. But unfortunately I don't have the time or the patience to care about that. So we're gonna go straight to the next stage. So basically, this now means, now you've done this little hack, you can fill this up for a pound of refill or if you get the 500 mils like this you can fill it up twice well it'd be 50p per refill so that's two refills that's six quid for two of these units and then you've got like one of these so 50 pence per refill compared to three that's a right winner in my opinion so now we've got to refill it and all that sort of stuff. So, I just don't know which one to choose. I mean, I've got the coconut, which is dreadful. Um, I've got this bubblegum stuff, which I would love to put in there. Don't have any dove, unfortunately. I've got some of this milk and honey from Klee, or whatever. Uh, again, milk and honey from this company. Or the aloe vera, or this original stuff that I used before. I will put some of this uh, coconut in because Let's just get rid of it. I'm sick and tired of looking at it, to be honest. So we are going to fill it up with coconut. But before I do, I'm gonna quickly mark with my Sharpie up the top here. Now the idea of that is I then know how much to refill it. So let's unscrew this, put this to one side. This is where I regret doing this on my kitchen. Floor. We'll put this down here and then we pop it right into there. This will take a little while. 
Um, so while we're doing that, we'll think about stuff. Now I would use my dubstep as normal, but you know, I wanted to go to squeezy soap and novelties. So there's that. Probably not a good idea to put this near WD-40, but hey ho. And there we go, it's full. And I will fill another one as well. So luckily for me, I've got this for another refill, unfortunately. Uh, it's so refreshing because I'm not a fan of coconut. Anyway, when you're done, this also means now you can put your lid on your top of your refill. Be very careful to not spill any anywhere. I'm just trying to do it that way. Brilliant. And make sure. Yay! So, let's see if this actually works. So, I'm going to pop this into my bathroom right now and we're going to see if it works. One hour later. Right, so here it is in my bathroom. Let's uh, switch her on and see if it works. Of course, it's going to work because I don't know how this unit works. So, oh, hang on a minute. I've got to take the seal off the batteries because uh, this is a brand new unit, remember? I'm going to take the soap off quick, take the battery lid off, and uh, pull the tab. There we are. Silly me forgot to do that bit earlier on, but hey, it just shows how new this unit is. And if you wonder why there's dots, it's because, you know, you're having multi-rooms and all that, you need to, you know, know which is which. Right, let's see if this works. Now it's gonna make noises to begin with, but eventually it'll feed it through. Hey, success. Right, and let's dry off. So if I'm slinging water, yeah, but you are right near my towel. Yep, it smells like coconut. <laughs> so there you go, a simple hack. Yeah, you know, just to prove that uh, it's not just this machine. Let me show you something quickly. This is another unit I've got. <laughs> This video's not made much sense, I'm sorry. This one's got some of that clay stuff from uh, uh, from Lidl. It's the uh, antibacterial stuff. And uh, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it could be better. Uh, but don't say it. The coconut stuff is very refreshing compared to that stuff. Hmm. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.